Hi everyone, I'm Scott. I'm really excited to share the latest version of our point cloud tool for drafting 2D plans and elevations directly in BricsCAD. Here's Dan to guide you through the process. We've added a setup panel, which can be useful if working in a drafting workspace rather than a modeling or BIM workspace. The panel includes a point cloud reference button, which brings up BricsCAD's Point Cloud Reference Manager, where you can either pre-process a new scan or insert an already pre-processed scan. You can also check the status of scans when they are pre-processing. I've already pre-processed this scan, so I'm just going to insert. Panel also includes BricsCAD's very useful Point Cloud Align tool. This allows you to select a part of your Point Cloud where there are walls and it will either rotate the point cloud to the UCS or new for BritsCAD v23.2, it will create a user UCS orthographically aligned to the walls. You also get the option to save the UCS. We have added a plan button for always looking down onto the XY plane, real time rotation. and a modified UCS button, which we'll show a bit later. Onto the Crop Solid Actions panel, we have the Draw Solid command. This is very similar to BricsCAD's box command, but the 3D entity snap settings are optimized for getting your box or your 3D solid in the correct place. We've now, for this version, included more command line options like choosing center, it doesn't have to be in the exact right place. So you just draw your box and now we can apply the crop. And we have created a crop solid. The beauty of the point cloud crop solid is not only do we have a very nice crop, we can modify the crop like a normal solid using BritsCAD's direct modeling actions. The push pull button allows you to select a face and quickly and easily add or remove volume The tab key allows you to select hidden faces. When you select the point cloud crop solid entity and go to the properties panel, you'll see it's like a normal 3D solid, but has some additional properties. For instance, you can change the elevation and you can change the extrusion height. KTF Point Cloud adds hide and show crop solid. It is of course much nicer to trace over a point cloud with the solid part hidden. You can show it again when you need to. We've also added crop on and crop off buttons. Now you can start tracing your point cloud. I'm going to flatten the view, this time using BritsCAD's look from widget. You can right click the top of the widget and you can change various settings. I'm setting this to user UCS and now I can click top again. A couple of favorite tools of the KTF Point Cloud are the ability to nudge the crop up and down. and the ability to extrude it less, extrude it more. We also have the ability to change the nudge increment settings or actually put in a specified thickness or elevation of the top face. One of the differences with the KTF point cloud from the properties panel is that when you change the extrusion thickness, it keeps the top face, the face you're drafting over, at the same and extrudes downwards. New for this version of the tool, we've added the ability to set the crop thickness by picking points on the point cloud. The nice thing about this function is you can also use it in the bubble viewer.
you look carefully, you can see there's a green pen and a red circle. So I'm going to click a point on the ceiling and it will get the Z value of the nearest point. And now on the floor and it will get the Z value of the nearest point on the floor. Now our crop is the first floor. You can save snapshots of the crop's elevation and extrusion thickness. You can either save it with a name or just use one of the presets and then you can just restore it at any time. These crop solid actions actually follow the z-axis of the UCS. So if you want to work in the vertical plane, for instance, to trace an elevation, you just change the UCS. I'll just change my uh, crop just using push-pull or I could have just made a new one. And then you can just use the UCS tool on the setup panel, specify UCS origin, bottom right corner of crop solid face, top left corner of crop solid face. I do want to save for UCS. I'll save it. I'll call it front. And now you'll see that if you want to nudge it does actually follow the z-axis UCS. So you can just trace the elevation, just put it in plan, hide your crop, and you can just start tracing. This UCS command actually also, you can put it back into world, or you can go to manager, just brings up BricsCAD's UCS manager. I'll put it back into floor plan, and I'll just put it back into plan view again. Push-pull actually works even with the solid invisible. The next panel is the point cloud display panel. So on this panel we have a layer toggle. What this button does, it will just simply toggle any layer with a point cloud on it, on or off. We also have a layer lock toggle. It is much nicer drafting over a point cloud layer if it's locked, for instance, for doing things like extend or trim. We have a bubble toggle, an adaptive toggle, and max porous. This will make the points as small as possible and as minimum density as possible. And then you can set it back to default porous again. We also have some fine tuning. For instance, you can fine tune the size of points or the density of the points. The next panel is the Point Cloud eSnaps panel. This is to save going into BritsCAD's 3D eSnap settings and changing settings here. We have the important ones. Snap to Point Cloud nearest point on and off. We also have Snap to use for point Z value when you draw a polyline or to use the system variable elevation when you draw a polyline. So this is drawn at the point elevation, but if we set to use elevation and draw another point, you see it's drawn at the elevation system variable, which is zero. On the final panel, we have some drafting tools. We have a add spot height tool. This will return the Z value of the nearest point. It's actually got some command line options as well. For instance, you can override the text size. By default, it just uses whatever the current style or text height system variable is. You can add a prefix or a suffix. I'll add a prefix, finish floor level, New for this release, we've added a vertical measurement tool. Works similar to the spot height tool, it has command line options. So you can set a prefix, for instance, door height. And it's also got a bubble mode option. You could just pick a point. Top of door frame, for instance, and below. And then you can just pick a point from the text. 
that's the KTF Point Cloud tool. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy using the tool and we hope it makes your point cloud drafting life a whole lot easier. Thanks for watching and please keep coming back to us with feedback. It really helps to improve the tool. If you'd like to try out this latest version, please contact us. Info at ktfsoftware.com.